welcome back to the shop. Um, we've got all the all the wings for the boxes are now all uh, sanded for for the most part. They're they're good for the rest of the process. We'll do some finish sanding when we join the bottoms to make sure the edges are all flush and bring it down maybe a little finer. It's not the easiest sanding because most of what you're sanding ends up being end grain. So it's it's pretty time consuming process. So, but we got it down to about a 150 grit. Uh, we'll do all the rest of the work. Then we'll do some finish sanding and we'll be good to go. So, but now where we are is we need to make the bodies because before we can progress farther from this stage, we have to join the wings to the body so that we can sand the entire bottom just to get rid of any steps or irregularities before we can join the bottom panel on it. Uh, and that's actually, it's the next step before we can do anything beyond, beyond the bottom uh, because we need to put the body in, cap off the body with uh, probably ebony and then we'll be able to put the, the wings, the tops of the wings on, which will be the lids, like a bifold kind of arrangement. Um, so I have two blocks for the bodies. We're gonna make one yellow heart, one purple heart, they're about 13 16 of an inch thick. And I'll have to remove a section of material here, which will bring the bottom, the new bottom, flush with the back side of the wings, but then the back of the body will overhang a little bit, so it'll be flush with the level of when the bottom panel is included. And then we need to cut six grooves, six dados, um, about quarter inch wide, quarter inch deep on either side, and those will accept the tabs that we left behind on the wings and that way the wings will inset a little bit give them a little more structural support and just make for a better a longer lasting joint so we're going to go over to the table saw and take care of all this and then we'll lay out the shape for the butterfly's head the shape for the butterfly's head We'll cut the contour of the back of its body. Uh, never mind the antennas. I haven't decided that they're gonna to be too weak made out of wood because of the grain orientation. Um, those may end up just being wire with a loop at the end and some black enamel spray paint. So it's a learning process. We'll develop it as we go on here. So. Next step is going to be going over to the saw, take caring, take care of the grooves for the body. Then we'll go to the bandsaw, contour the back, the tail end, and the head end, and glue something together. So let's go over to the bandsaw.